Gasoline is one of the most essential and in-demand fuels worldwide. Every day, millions of people fill up their vehicles without giving much thought to the fascinating process behind its creation. But have you ever wondered how gasoline is actually produced? What does it take to transform something as dark and thick as crude oil into the clear, powerful liquid that propels your car? Today, we're going to take you inside an oil refinery to uncover, step by step, every transformation that turns this black gold into pure gasoline. From the initial distillation process to the precise blending that ensures optimal performance, we'll reveal everything that happens before each liter is ready to fill your tank. And who knows, perhaps after learning about how it's made and understanding every detail of the process, you'll look at your next tank of gas in a whole new light. So get ready, because we're about to unveil the incredible process behind every drop of gasoline. Let's begin. Step 1. Extracting Crude Oil it all starts beneath the Earth's surface, where, in some areas, miles below, lies crude oil. This mixture of hydrocarbons and organic compounds formed millions of years ago from the remains of marine organisms that were buried deep in the ocean floor and transformed under extreme pressure and temperatures. It's incredible to think that the fuel we use today began forming millions of years ago. To extract this black gold, Oil companies use enormous drilling rigs that bore into the ground until they reach the hidden reserves, sometimes at depths greater than the height of the tallest building in the world. These gigantic machines penetrate layers of rock and sediment with millimeter precision, opening a path to one of Earth's most valuable resources. Once the drill reaches the reserves, the oil begins to flow to the surface, propelled by the natural pressure of the reservoir. If this pressure decreases, Powerful pumps are used to suck up the crude and send it to the surface, where it begins its journey to refineries to be transformed into gasoline and other essential products. After extraction, crude oil is not used directly in automobiles, as it is a heavy, dark, and unusable mixture in its raw form. This is where the real magic of the process begins. The crude is transported through large pipelines to refineries, where its transformation will start. Step 2. Distillation of Crude Oil once the crude oil arrives at the refinery, it undergoes its first and most important transformation, distillation. How does this process work? First, the crude is heated in enormous towers to extremely high temperatures, exceeding 350 degrees Celsius. At such high heat, the oil separates into different parts as each component evaporates at a different temperature. We could imagine the distillation tower as a heat filter. The lighter compounds, like gases, rise to the top of the tower, while the heavier ones, like asphalt, remain at the bottom. In the middle of the tower, the gasoline fraction appears, condenses, and is collected for further processing. This initial step is fundamental because it allows the different components of the oil to be filtered and for gasoline to be obtained in a purer form. However, it is not yet ready for use in engines. This fraction needs to be refined and improved to become the fuel that eventually reaches the tanks of automobiles. Step 3. Fuel Enhancement Now that we have a base of gasoline, we begin one of the most fascinating steps in refining, enhancement. In this phase, the heavier parts of the oil are transformed into lighter compounds, ideal for use as fuel. How is this done? Through a technique called catalytic cracking which uses extreme heat and certain catalysts, substances that accelerate reactions, to break these heavy molecules into smaller, more energy-filled components. To visualize it, imagine crude oil as a long, complex chain. The cracking process cuts this chain into smaller, more manageable pieces, making the fuel more powerful and efficient. This step is crucial because it allows us to extract a greater amount of gasoline from each barrel of oil, maximizing every drop and making everything more efficient. Thanks to cracking, each barrel of crude oil can produce up to 72 liters of gasoline. Thus, this process not only optimizes the amount of fuel we obtain, but also helps meet the high demand for energy worldwide. But we're not done yet. To make the gasoline even more effective, we move on to the next step, reforming where we fine-tune the fuel even further to give it maximum performance. Step 4. Optimizing gasoline for the engine 
We already have a gasoline fraction, but for it to work well in car engines, it needs a final adjustment. This is where the process of quality improvement or reforming comes in, which helps gasoline perform better by increasing its octane rating. And what is octane rating? Basically, octane rating measures how stable gasoline is when compressed in an engine. The higher the octane rating, the more efficient and smooth the engine will run. During the reforming process, high temperatures and catalysts are used to improve the structure of the gasoline, making it better able to withstand engine compression. This not only prevents problems, but also allows the engine to run smoother and more powerfully, increasing its performance. With this final step, the gasoline is almost ready to reach the pumps, where final checks will be made to ensure its quality before use. Step 5. Final Blending With a base of refined gasoline and the right octane rating, it's time for the finishing touch, blending. In the factory, this process takes place in huge mixing tanks. Here, various special additives are carefully added that improve performance, reduce emissions, and protect the engine. These additives include detergents, which prevent deposits from building up in the engine, antioxidants, which prevent the fuel from deteriorating over time, and in some cases, compounds that reduce pollutant emissions. In each tank, the additives are mixed with precision, adapting to local regulations and company standards for different types of engines and environmental regulations. Have you ever wondered why gasoline has such a characteristic smell? That strong odor comes from certain volatile compounds added in this phase, which help keep the fuel stable and make it easier to start the engine. With this final blend, the gasoline is ready, with all the necessary components to offer the best performance and minimize environmental impact. But before reaching the engines, it must pass strict quality controls. Step 6. Quality Control Before leaving the refinery, every batch of gasoline undergoes rigorous quality control. In specialized laboratories, samples are analyzed to ensure they meet standards for octane rating, purity, stability, and performance. This step is crucial to guarantee that the gasoline that reaches your tank maintains the same quality standards, no matter where you buy it. In these laboratories, the final product undergoes rigorous tests to ensure it is safe, efficient, and meets all regulations. Even a small impurity in the fuel could affect your engine's performance or cause polluting emissions. This meticulous control ensures that every drop of gasoline that reaches your car is perfectly prepared to offer the best performance. Once approved, it's time to see how it is stored and transported to gas stations around the world. Step 7. Storage and distribution to gas stations Finally, the refined and quality-approved gasoline is stored in large tanks and is ready for distribution. From the refinery, it is transported in tanker trucks or through large pipelines to service stations across the country. The gasoline is stored in sealed tanks to prevent evaporation and preserve its freshness and quality. While the gasoline you use today may have been refined recently, the oil it comes from is actually a fossil fuel millions of years old. You could say that every time you fill up your tank, you're carrying a small piece of Earth's history with you. When the gasoline arrives at the service station, it is transferred to the underground tanks of the gas stations and is ready to be pumped and used as the energy that powers our vehicles. Thanks to a complex logistics system, each station receives gasoline constantly, maintaining the supply everywhere in the world. And there you have it, the story of gasoline, from crude oil to the gasoline that makes every vehicle in the world powered by this fuel run. Every time you fill up your tank, think about all the journey that fuel has traveled. From the depths of the earth to your car, every drop of gasoline is the product of years of geological formation and advanced engineering. To finish, tell me, are you one of those who love the smell of gasoline? Or are you one of those who hate it? Leave your answer in the comments. And if this video has surprised you, don't forget to like and subscribe to learn more about incredible manufacturing processes.